Okay, so I'm here with the team and also with Stefan here. Yes. And he have um, hired or rent um, a table in Sweden's most biggest new age. Yes. Alternative, alternative uh, yeah, health yeah. events. Yeah. So, I mean, you can see all they are um, offering a lot of healings here in many strange method, methods all around the place. Here. So, we are here and we have a table, and people are very open to it because, uh, I mean, they are open to the to the urban Australia, the, the, the supernatural. World. Yes. And they are coming to us, and we have seen a lot of good, yeah, a lot, a lot of, of healings, yeah, a, lot, a of lot of good talks, yeah, yes, and preaching the word. And I mean, they are coming everywhere, and uh, yeah, it's just wow. And, and this is amazing. This is usually you go out in town and you need to to uh, to search for people, but they are coming here. They are the souls are searching for an answer for the pain or maybe physical, uh, psychological pain, but. This is amazing. This is so amazing to, to see everything happen right in front of your so eyes. So how, how many people have you been preaching for? And healing, over 50. Over many 50. healings, nice yeah. healings and... Yes. Yeah, and it is so good tools to use this to start to preach the gospel. Yeah. And you have seen some things too. Uh, it's like he said, it's like it's another type of fishing is like putting the net and the, the fishes are swimming into the net <laughs> yes. and it's just wonderful because we can just share the gospel and um, we don't have to chase the people they actually want to listen and, uh, and a miracle opens a door to preach so it's just amazing God is and they really... are here because of healings yes. they want to, to yes. know the supernatural yeah so we met a guy here in this uh, new age uh -huh. uh, advanced <laughs> and you had you have some problem with your foot and you know which it is now. Yes. Come, you get rid of it. Well I hope so. Yeah. That's it. Be totally honest. Yeah. <laughs> Strange, I don't feel uh, any Pain went. Yeah. <laughs> I just put in my hand like two, three seconds. Come. Yeah. Walk a bit. Try to walk a bit. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very strange. strange. What happened? Yeah. yeah. Very strange. Okay. <laughs> I will tell you how I did it. Har du någonting att säga? Ska vi ta dem? Ska vi ta dem? Ska vi ta dem? Ska vi ta dem? Well, tack så mycket. Hon kom och sa att hon hade pain i sin left shoulder. Hon hade för en tid. Hon föll ner och hörde sig själv. Hon gick till doktor, men de kunde inte hitta vad problemet var. Jag prövde en gång till. Hon börjar att känna att pain från sin shoulder är förlösa lite. Och det går helt och hållet ner till sina fingrar. And she can start her fingers feeling better. So I said, but are you good or not? No, she said it's a little bit more. So I said, we pray once more. And uh, at the sixth time, she God releases full healing over her shoulder and over her arm. And she gets so moved by God and tears just fills her. And she just rejoices in the Lord that she already knows. It's really easy to do this. Uh, it's really easy. I can't say more. It's fun and easy. The most problem I have for the moment is in my toes. Okay, and you feel it right now? I feel it right okay. now. So right now I come my opening to go from this foot right now, opening go. What should I do? And uh, nothing, full nothing. strength, restoration, a new foot right now, completely heal, completely restored, completely heal right now. Just like it, a cigarette. If yeah. you put a cigarette, who's burning and do like this, yeah. and all the pain is gone. It's gone. I could touch my and toe. And you can move like your toe, like twenty percent or yeah. something. Much okay. better than before. Okay. But the most thing I really like is the pain yeah. about the cigarette because that was awful. But because before I couldn't touch it. <laughs> Great. And pain in her. Um, 
back for 23 years and it was totally gone and she was so shocked and of course it was an opener to preach the gospel uh, we have some testimonies here also so hold on <laughs> too many <laughs> yes <Yeah>, so many <laughs> i remember uh, so much have happening today been happening today uh, yeah uh, very good uh, meetings uh, People yeah, have heard the gospel and have been healed, and a lot have been happening today. Yeah. A wonderful day together with Jesus. Uh, even the people that was uh, doing their own healing things came to us because they heard that uh, people got the, set free from pain and things. So yesterday I got to pray for a guy who had uh, from pain in his eye. And I just felt like, yeah, you need to know Jesus. And I was really clear that this is Jesus. And then I prayed for him. And he was like, wow, yeah, there is something with, with that name. Uh, and his eye got better. And he had even been to doctors. They were going to operate something with it. And it was completely fine. So And so many, yeah, backs and the legs growing out. And, yeah, so many things. And, uh, and one older woman, uh, she received Jesus in her heart, and I will baptize her uh, next week, I think. So. Amen. It was so Amen. Yes. Yeah, God just connected us with people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we had uh, have an amazing time today. A lot of people getting touched, and. Uh, I want to share a testimony about a guy that got a stone in his heart, uh, in his eye, I'm sorry. And uh, he was all red in his eye, he uh, had pain and, and it was causing actually damage on his vision so he could not see so good. So I prayed for his eye and the pain just went away and he was instantly shocked because it, the pain just went instantly. And then I prayed for his vision so he could at the sea and then God just healed his vision also and he was just so shocked and it was such a beautiful encounter because God was really moving in his heart and just touching his his heart and uh, we got so much testimony so we're just giving around the phone so everybody can can tell something because God is doing too much uh, we just encourage you guys to step out and be hungry for what God wants to do through you um, because you are an instrument so yeah uh, that's great so much happening it's crazy and we almost just for we don't know exactly how much people get healed because we lost the counting um, but one thing that happened is when I came to <laughs> When I came to this um, to the New Age Festival here, that on my way in, I met a woman in the bus. So, so she was asking me like, "Oh, what's you gonna do over there?" And I asked her that I'm going to, um, re yeah, release healing of some people and people get just gonna encounter the love of God. So she was asking me like, "Oh, what kind of healing do you use?" So I asked her. Yeah. Do you have any pain in your body? I can show you. And she has scoliosis and uh, one leg shorter than another and a lot of back pain. So we prayed for our leg and it was growing out and Amen. and we were hammering on the healing. So after 10 prayers, her back was totally healed and wow. she was kind of amazed about that. So. Amen. Amen. <laughs> This is easy. You just need to believe the word of God. Just believe that God is a God that keeps his promise and then just go and do what he told us to do. And it's so fun to do it also. Amen. Nej, jag känner att benet liksom bara alltså det gör inte ont eller nåt. Jag bara känner att det bara rusar ner. She says that uh, that the leg it's just uh, going out so to say. Kom ut just nu. So you have a problem. Uh, you have uh, back pain, back problems. Let's talk to this neck. Yeah. problem with her shoulders and back. A hairdresser. Maybe she can fix my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Hon kan ställa sig upp så, du kan ställa upp så kan du känna efter det i ryggen. Ja, för att när jag kom ut idag så var jag så spänd. Så att jag kände att jag var tvungen att stretcha lite från benen att de hade låst det. Jo. Men nu känner jag mig jättelätt. Och ryggen då? Ja. No pain in your back? No. And shoulders? No. No at all? No. How is that possible? <laughs> wow. You are in tears. Det är känslomässig. Wow. Lätt. Lätt. Det känns easy. Alltså förstår du att jag får en rysning så att håret vill resa sig. Wow, goosebumps. Gud, alltså det var ju helt otroligt. Precis. Jag fattar ingenting, Tina. Berätta. Share, share with me. What happened? Jag sätter mig. Och så är det ena benet lite kortare. Och så känner du det där så. Nej. Och så har jag ont i ryggen. Alltså jag, jag är ju tung så att jag nästan inte får med mig. Liksom. Alltså när jag ska resa mig så gick jag så här igår. Och nu kan jag gå också. Alltså. Ja. Och så jag axlar och nacke och ryggen. Nej. Alltså bara på... Jag vet inte. Jag vet inte. Känner du det? Men... Okay, so yeah, the her right leg is a little bit shorter, and she has a problem in the back. Ah. Okay. And now she will fix the leg. <laughs> She's a disc jockey. Ja, oh, jockey. Ride the horses. Pain in the back. Wow. Vad gör du? Känner du då? Jag såg det. Jag såg det växte. Men det kändes som en dragningskraft här. Wow. Det känns det ju runt. Men sen har jag problem med syster och sånt här också. Okej. Jag vet inte vad jag ska göra. Och sen har jag matsmäckor. Det ska vara fullständigt. Det ska vara kraftigt då. Inga smäckor, inga knallar, inga smäckor. Och fett min alltid. I just wanted to share a testimony from yesterday. It was a girl, uh, a woman actually, about 40 to 50 years old. And uh, she was very lost in her life. She was feeling a, 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 a emptiness and she was like so confused about everything in her life. She had been hearing voices in her head that she was broke, that she was uh, not able to success in life and all these voices that the enemy tries to attack us with to make us uh, to go different path to distract us to hinder us and it was just so beautiful because I was sitting down with her and just listen listening to her just sharing her heart and as people spoke in I was like I, I, I know that you are here and it's a purpose that you are here and that God wants to to restore your life in, in, into His presence, into His peace, into His love. And as we were sitting there, I asked her if she wanted to receive Jesus again. And if she wanted to have a, a, a relationship that was full of life, of peace. And she said yes. And I began to pray for her. And it was so beautiful because as I began to pray, tears were falling down from her eyes. And she was actually getting touched by God. And she said, I never been felt this way before. I never felt the love of God like this. And it was so beautiful because she was so lost. And now she is returning to, to the Father. And she was so happy when she was walking away. She was full of hope. Uh, she had was light in her eyes. And